Now we're below the pyramids and there was hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of tombs below those pyramids so I'm going to give you my opinion. All around these pyramids there's tombs all over the place and so we're discovering the tombs right now. But when I was in the service I was in a country called Bahrain and we were in the middle of the desert. And in the middle of the desert they would bring the dead people and they'd dig a hole in the sand and they'd put rocks on top of them. Then they'd bring another person and dig a hole in the sand and put rocks on top of them. And then they'd come over and dig another hole. Guess what? No rocks. So they started taking the other rocks off the other graves. So what people wanted to do to stop that was they started putting bigger stones on and bigger stones on and bigger stones on. So this whole area here is basically a cemetery. So when you're looking at something with bigger and bigger and bigger stones, that's what it's all about. Well, there's a sphinx right there. The Great Pyramid, Khufu, Makari. All in here, this is nothing but tombs and grave sites. Now we're below the pyramids, and there was hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of tombs below those pyramids. These are all tombs and a cemetery all around the pyramids. You can see the way they dug straight down into the bedrock. The bedrock is very soft. It's not as hard as you think. This is the bedrock right here. Some of these tombs are way down there. Look at this. There comes the birds out. Here's one of the... I guess it's an old church coffin, I guess. Almost any type of stone you pick up along the pyramids fell off of the pyramids. And if you rub it back and forth, you can make it as smooth as you want just with another piece of limestone. It's not really a big deal to do that. Granite, see how to get a smooth surface already? Granite's a different idea. But limestone, you can do almost do anything with it as far as carving goes. Now when you first go to Egypt and you walk around the pyramids, you're going to see all these little pyramids. And what they are is they're the burial tombs of like the queens or the noble people or the sons or the daughters of the king. The whole Giza Plateau is nothing but a cemetery. And we're going to go down in a couple of these. I'm going to make a videos in the future of these little small pyramids. But the whole Giza Plateau is nothing but a cemetery. And that's it. It's no big mystery. Now 400 miles away from the pyramids is the Valley of the Kings. And this is a picture of us walking into the Valley of the Kings. I didn't have a video, but cutting into the ground is not a big deal as you think it is. So I'm going to do a little demonstration. I'm in the area of Scranton, Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, United States. And in our area here, you can walk underground from Forest City all the way down to Nanticoke. You can play baseball underground. This is a big mining area and used to supply most of the Northeast with their coal. Right behind me is column banks. There's mountains of this stuff and that's all the stuff that they didn't use when they were mining. It had to go along with the coal. This is all the waste so you can imagine how much coal they took out of the area. The point is when we were kids we used to be able to go down in the mines. They had mules, offices. You'd see all that stuff. But what I want to prove, it's pretty easy to cut into the ground. It's not a big deal, especially with limestone. So I'm going to do a little example. I'm just over the hill a little bit, and they cut this roadway out about 25, 30 years ago. So if we walk over to here, and we start looking at the bank, we're going to look for a soft spot. Where's the softest part here? Well, it's where the coal's at. So we look right here. And this is the hard shell, this is the column that we were looking at before. See? This is the hard stuff. But it's still shale and it's easy to dig in. Same thing when you go to the Valley of the Kings. It's easy to dig in. See the shale? Now all of a sudden, as we get up here, what are we looking at? Coal. It's easy. Once we start digging into the coal, we, we could see how easy it is to dig. So what the ancient Egyptians did, see how easy it is to get into there? Now they had brass hammers and copper hammers. That was no big deal. Let's get up here a little closer. 
So it was the same thing when they dug in the tombs of Egypt. They'd go into the soft spot and they'd start digging. Look at the coal. See the coal? That's what they call bony. Bony coal. But I've, I've burnt this. You see what I mean? And then what they would do is they'd go down until they hit a hard spot. And then they'd turn right maybe or left. And they'd go there until they hit a hard spot. Then they'd go down some more. That's why you see the tombs in Egypt all going like this. Now limestone's very easy to go through. And they had the hammers. They had copper and brass hammers. You could see them at the museum. So all that stuff they're telling you about how they didn't know how they did it, that's how they did it. So you're going to ask me, Mike, can you still get in some of these old caves? And yes, you can because some places are still strip mining and if they're not strip mining for coal they're after the gravel for the highways and everything now back in 1959 the river caved in on all the mines and it flooded the whole valley for miles and miles and miles all the easy coal was mostly gone so they started strip mining a little bit but everybody started using oil and gas so it kind of really killed the business they never reopened the mines but we're going to take a little look in there. I got my little scuba diving uh, light and we could see some timber in there. So we'll take a look. So we're going to walk up to the mine and before we get there, look at this. It's like a tree, a fossil of a tree trunk. There's a million of them here. I'm going to sneak up in here and look inside. And if you're looking, you can actually see the tree timbers. I got my light on it there. See it? The timber going up. And you can see the wood sticking up. That's what used to hold the mines up. So you can see the wood laying down in there. So this is an old mine, just like the tombs in Egypt. As a matter of fact, they say a lot of times they find old bones down in big strip mines. So that's it. Now this is a picture of uh, I took of one of the tombs at the Valley of the Kings. And all this limestone back in here, I could get a brick hammer and start chipping in it. I took a real look, good look when I was there, but I couldn't do it when the guards were there, of course. But that was the entrance to the tomb. I'm not sure if it was uh, Tutankhamun's or not. So you go to Egypt and you go into the Giza Plateau. You walk around the pyramids and all you're going to see is a lot of tombs. They're everywhere. They go up and down the whole... Uh, Egyptian Valley, the whole Nile Valley up and down. And I don't know why all these channels who do all these documentaries don't tell you that. Sometimes they think it's just fake news. They don't want you to see that. They want to make it into some big thing that it isn't. Limestone is easy to carve and it's easy to build with. Anybody can do it. They're still doing it today. They've done it for thousands of years, even before the pyramids. So I just got to make that point. Uh, there's the Great Pyramid and all in here is all kind of tombs and we did all that So we're gonna move over there There's the Sphinx down there. Now we're gonna go over there and do those tombs All in here. This is nothing but tombs and grave sites way over there See the camels and the Bedouins they say So you remember earlier in the video I told you I was in a service out in the middle of the desert and we were out there, and we asked the guide who was guiding us, so what are all these things? He says, well, that's where they bury people. So they just bury them in the sand and use other people's rocks, and then the wind blows it away, and they use other people's rocks. That's basically Egypt. That's the way they did it in Egypt. It's not a big mystery. And there's a picture of the camels running away, but one of them previously bit me. Even the camels didn't want us over there. Now I have a lot of videos on Egypt. I show how you could carve stones, granite against granite. I'm not using any metal tools. Then I take copper and I drill through limestone. I have a whole series on rock facing and shaping stones. When you go to the other pyramid videos, I show you how you can move these big stones just by rolling them. I show how they had elephants and had oxen to move things. I show you my videos on Machu Picchu and I show you them on my Great Wall of China. All the castles that I went to, Chechenia in Mexico. If you ever go to the pyramids of Egypt and you look around, you're going to realize that they didn't bury the people in the fertile lands. They took them out in the desert. There's nothing but tombs. 
There's no mystery about it. They just over glorify it. So thanks for watching. I'm Mike Haddock. I'll leave you with a scene with us playing in the band with the coal mine of blues. Well, I grew up in a coal mining town. Granddad made a living working underground. He picked a shovel to the day was long. He picked a shovel to a coal mining song. And you could hear him in the wind when the moon is falling.